Former President Donald Trump's attorneys on Monday said they opposed the Justice Department's request to continue looking into classified documents the FBI seized from Mar-a-Lago in August in an ongoing criminal investigation. In the court filing, Trump's lawyers asked U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon, a Trump appointee in Florida, to require an independent arbiter, called a special master, to review all the documents recovered during the August search at Trump's estate in Palm Beach, including the roughly 100 files with classification markings, some labeled as top secret. Cannon has faced criticism as she temporarily barred prosecutors from examining the seized records as they probe whether Trump took government property from the White House illegally or store the materials at Mar-a-Lago improperly. The arbiter will weed out any privileged documents that should be shielded. The Justice Department nominated two candidates to be the arbiter. Trump objected to both. Meanwhile, prosecutors have vowed to appeal Cannon's decision to a higher court if they're kept from accessing the records. Also in the filing, Trump's lawyers disputed the Justice Department's claim that the 100 records in question are in fact classified. And they said a president generally has broad powers to declassify records. However, they stopped short of suggesting that Trump had declassified those documents, a claim Trump has made on social media, but not in any court filings.